Margie in Baltimore, uh, excuse me, in Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin, uh, listening on Sirius. Hey, Margie. We're, we're also very happy hey. to be on Sirius. What's up? Um, I was listening to the uh, coverage last night on, ra- on radio. I don't have a TV. And the impression that I got of the police was that they should be all charged with trying to incite a riot. Yeah. They were lined up as a shield wall, which is a military formation, and shortly after the curfew started, they started taking their batons and hitting them on the shields. Mm -hmm. That, sir, is a time immemorial battle cry. Wow. It had nothing to do with trying to get people off the streets. It had everything. This is the call to war. Right. It's it's a it's a it's an expression of violence. You know, hitting hitting a, a, a basically it's a, it's like a drum beat out of uh, an old Mel Gibson movie. You know, where the Scots That's- are coming down. Um, Mar- Absolutely, Mar- Margie. Wasn't it wasn't it Mayor Daley in Chicago back in 1968 who said the police are not here to cause disorder; the police are here to preserve disorder. I was only two years old. That's so. ah, okay. My my apologies. <laughs> I'm I'm the old fart here. I remember it. Uh, this is nothing new in a way, and yet there is there are some new pieces to this. And the biggest one, I think, is social media and the widespread availability of cell phone cameras. Right. But it's, you know, the, the police, what they were doing, it was absolutely ramping up and charging. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't until after they started doing that was when the first things were being thrown at that line of police. Yeah. It's uh, uh, provocation. Our, our police, I think, need to be trained in, in peaceful nonviolence, active peaceful nonviolence as well. Margie, thank you for the call. Excellent.